Hey guys, I want to show you a really quick video uh, with a broken link building technique. So I've done content on bro link, bro broken link building before, but this is a slight variation. Um, so for the purpose of this video, I'm going to pretend that I own this website, eatthis.com. Um, it could equally be any website related to health, nutrition, healthy living, um, fitness, anything of that nature. Um, I don't have any affiliation to this website. I'm just using it as an example. <clears throat> so what we want to do is go to Ahrefs. And what we want to do is find a high authority website in a fairly similar niche. So I've just opted for bodybuilding.com. It is about bodybuilding, but they have tons of content about healthy living, um, diet, all that kind of stuff. Um, so what we're going to use here on Ahrefs is the broken links tool, outgoing broken links. Like I said, you can pick any website, any high authority website that's relevant to your niche, the niche of your website. Uh, and what we have here is all of the outgoing links from bodybuilding.com that are uh, broken. So all of these pages, you can see there's 404 is not found. So all of these pages we know, um, you know, for whatever reason, uh, the webmasters removed those pages, they no longer work. So what we're looking for is uh, a kind of informational URL that we can almost replicate on our own website. Um, so I actually looked uh, down here earlier, and on the first page, I found this article, which I thought was interesting. Um, it looked interesting. The Human Brain Facts from the Franklin Institute. Now, you can see that it's, it's dated 2004. Um, oh, no, sorry. The Franklin Institute was maybe found in 2004. Anyway, the page no longer works. Um, you can see here. So they, pr they probably updated their website or something. Maybe some of their content got lost. Who knows? Um, but I know that's quite a good 404 page, actually. But no longer works. Uh, but what we can use is Web Archive. So webarchive.org. Then we can see it's a different design of website. So that's probably why they lost it. Um, we can see how, exactly how that page looked uh, a few years ago, 10 years ago, actually, 2010. But it looked like it was probably still active up until maybe recently. Um, so now we have exactly how this uh, page looked. So we can see it's a, an article about um, uh, fatty, uh, um, fatty acids, you know, how, we've, how humans have evolved, why fats are good, um, you know, how fats build your brain. So this is absolutely the type of content that's going to be relevant for this website. So what we do now is we just say to ourselves, we, we go and have a look and say, well, did anyone actually link to this page? Um, and we have discovered the answer is yes, 192 people have linked to this page. Um, so there's 192 links to this page which no longer work. So we look through, let's just see if any links are actually any good. Well, there's a link from bodybuilding.com, followed link, uh, phoenixhelix.com, looks like a legitimate website, eHow, newsbud.com, howstuffworks.com, all these really good websites are actually linking out to it. Um, these all look like legitimate high authority websites. Well, a lot of them anyway. Naturalnews.com, the nest.com. So there's some great websites that are linking to this page, but you know, the links are, uh, the links are all broken. Um, you know, we can confirm that by just going through the path. Um, fi.edu is and just literally clicking on the link <clears throat> so these guys are all linking to broken uh linking to a page which is broken the next step is we have a writer recreate this page on our website now there's two ways you can do it there's the easy lazy way which is a little bit can maybe construed as dodgy or copying which is you literally copy the content and you say, by the way, this, uh, this article originally appeared on the Franklin Institute, so all credit goes to them um, for whatever reason they removed it from their page and you copy it. Um, number two, the slightly more safer way, is you just recreate the, the article. So you, with your own text, your own writer, your own images, you, 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 know, you use this as inspiration, but you recreate uh, the article. Um, once you've recreated the article on your website, you take the URL um, and you show it to all 192 websites, or the best ones, you might want to leave out a few spammier ones, uh, that are linking to this page. And you say, hey guys, I 
noticed that you were uh, linking to this page on the Franklin Institute. It's no longer there. I've recreated something similar on my website. Do you want to link to it? Now, the response rate for this uh, type of link building is really high. Like you're going to get, typically you're going to get at least, I would say a 10% closure rate. So, you know, from recreating that one article, we might, we might expect like 15, 20 links from those 200 links. Um, the more recent the article is, the better. Um, if it's, if it's like that, people might say, well, the, you know, the article on my website is like five, 10 years old. Um, probably no one's going to read it anymore. Why am I going to update it? But you'll be surprised people, if people notice a mistake on their website, the chance and, and you point that mistake out, the chances are people are going to want to update it. So if you're being the helpful person that you are showing them the mistake and showing them, um, an equally, uh, is relevant, uh, article that they can link to, then it's going to work. Um, so that's basically it in a nutshell. I've done this many times and it does work. Um, you know, you, you can, this one has like 192 backlinks this is literally the first, on, I found this on the first page of the outbound links and bodybuilding.com. I'm sure there's many, many more. Um, that, that looks like an interesting one, but it does work. Um, so again, using the outgoing broken links tool on Ahrefs to explore high authority websites that are in a similar niche. And then, you know, just discovering which ones have, uh, you know, are relevant to your website and also have a high number of, uh, outbound referring domains. Uh, so that's it in a nutshell. It does work. I've done it lots of times in lots of different niches. So hopefully that's a useful uh, tip for you.